I'm Emma, Emma Clayton, and I'm Artistic Director of Blood Memory Dance. I am also performing in the piece Violet, which we are currently making. I have also been working in the community of Hawksworth Wood, and I have been devising an intergenerational project. Actually, the first person I had a real conversation with was Violet. <laughs> and Violet has a surname, her name's Violet Kennedy. She's 91 years of age now, and she served in the Land Army for three years. Um, and she sat down, we had a cup of tea, and she told me her story. And I thought, I want to dance that story. I want to bring that story to life through dance, through performance. Um, and then my next idea was I was gonna get a fabulous team together and make it happen and make it the magic come together. I'm Georgina Jakubiak. I am a singer-songwriter. Um, my role in this project is um, writing the music. So I've written all the music, I've recorded it, and now I'm dancing in the piece and playing saxophone as well. Last year, me and Emma did quite a lot of work together for blood memory dance sessions with, um, with our children. And I provided some of the music for some of the sessions and we realised that we worked quite well together. But for this piece, we started to get some ideas from the, the ladies at, at Hops, it's mainly Violet and Margaret with, with the two characters that we started to get some ideas from. We had the, the contract for the Land Army um, that the Land Army girls used to have to sign. I started using that to write some of the music around. We got the ladies into the recording studio and recorded them speaking and um, just telling us stories about their experiences. Usually when I'm writing for myself, it comes from um, a song or a feeling or an idea. Um, but for this, it was more, I had to think a bit more about the, how it was going to be choreographed. So it was a little bit different. And Emma would come into the studio and say, this bit needs to be longer or this bit needs to build a bit more. Um, and gave us direction like that for, from a choreographical point of view. Hi, I'm Bob Ack. I'm a dancer in the big shebang and uh, also I play a character called Brian and I play the sax. So my uh, understanding or knowledge of the, uh, of the wartime in Leeds is, it was very limited. So just getting my head around that, uh, the experiences, it's something that in my upbringing family wasn't really talked about, although my uh, granddad thought that he didn't, I don't know, it's just something that has not been part of my life or upbringing at all. So um, learning and understanding and getting to grasp with um, how things were at that time, just uh, the daily events of people, uh, mainly in the home front as well, because I think that's even less talked about possibly than what happened abroad in, in the war and the big famous battles. But actually, there was a lot of things happening here in Leeds. Uh, I'm James, I'm a dancer uh, and performer teacher uh, based in Leeds. I've been here for about four years. Um, throughout the process, we've taken a lot from looking at still images. So um, images of Leeds in the uh, uh, 1920s, 30s and 40s uh, and sort of realising how different it was even though it's sort of in living memory for people is crazy. We, we, I think we all took quite a lot from those photographs and it's crazy, it's, it's intense to imagine how much you can take from just a still image but um, yeah I think we all took a lot of character and a lot of sort of the feeling and peace from looking at those things. So that was a highlight for me, I suppose. It's very important for this time of my career because I have just spent 12 years as a dance lecturer. Um, and that work was I, was, I was very passionate about that role to begin with. And then as time moved on, I realized I was getting drawn back into becoming an artist. And then I decided I'd like to go for my first ever Arts Council bid. We set up the project then to work with the elderly in the HOPS organisation. I realised maybe the blood memory style was a little too creative maybe. So then that was my idea to start thinking about bringing more of an urban style, the hip hop style. And I guess that's when I started thinking, right, who would be the right um, practitioners who would be the right artists to bring into the project. So I suppose you could consider it being a challenge that we've worked with quite a big intergenerational cast. 
So we've got two big reception groups along with the hops group and the youth group that we've built on a Tuesday evening of uh, uh, teenagers that we're doing hip hop dance with. So there's quite a lot of people to contend with. And then uh, Emma's got her own contemporary group as well that she's bringing in. Um, so there's lots and lots of different pieces of the puzzle. Well, for me, it's the dancing. Um, I haven't danced for a long time. So um, the music comes naturally to me, the, the, the songwriting. I'm used to that because I do that a lot. But um, Emma wanted me to be in the piece dancing as well. So for me, it's, yeah, the dancing, getting getting fit enough. You have, might have an abstract uh, sense of what an audience might like or might do, but as we've been producing the work, we've been going in and showing it to this um, group of old people who are really critical and are just really going to say it how it is. If they don't like something, they'll just tell you, we don't like it. I think maybe you get to a certain age in life where you're just beyond like caring or worrying about what people say. So they'll be like, oh yeah, that was that made me feel sick or something like that. Or I don't know, things that as a younger person or as someone in the arts, you might bite your tongue, but they just tell us how it is. So, we, so we've been showing them little sections of the work as we've been going through. Um, and that's been really useful to hear that feedback. And that, that influences our work because then you can visualize those people and that audience when you're making something, okay, what would that group think? Would that be, you know, would that be too challenging for them rather than, yeah, just li literally seeing and hearing that feedback as we've been going has been really good. Um, it'd be nice to, to, we've got the two performances that, that we've got already. It'd be nice to, to do more next year, maybe. Um, yeah, develop it a little bit more. I'm up for it. <laughs> the audience for Violet are very much um, the community members. We have done some research with some elderly people who have given us information um, about 27 people who unfortunately lost their lives during the Second World War. And that um, is going to appear within Violet. So there could be some of those soldiers, um, relatives and families in that audience, which is going to mean a, a great deal to them hearing those names. What I don't want to do is, 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 is look back and think, I should have made more of that time. I should have thought more about it. I should have enjoyed it more. I mean, I've been learning hip hop. I've been learning about locking. I've been learning about break dance. And I'm happy to sort of embrace those things. But things do move very, very quickly. So I've got to just be very careful that I don't leave here, go and pick the children up from school and then just forget all about it. I, I try to embrace it. I try to take time to breathe and go, right, I'm really enjoying this. And maybe things might not have worked out as well as I wanted to that day, but tomorrow's another day. And I hope that that's just gonna continue. Uh, well, 
Um, my name's Violet Kennedy. I'm a member of Hobbs. Uh, and we got um, involved in this when Emma came uh, and started uh, this sort of dance effort. Uh, I did, I did, um, uh, 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 gave some speeches, well, not speeches, I talked about my time in the Land Army and Emma, I think, got hold of this and um, she was quite taken with the fact that we'd struggled and strived with a stack of flaps. She got taken with the fact that I carried loads of water one morning and things like that. Uh, and from there she seemed to weave this, um, this dance uh, group into a, a story, as it were, uh, which, you know, went down very well, I think, actually.